Hey there, we're at the disc sander today for the pop wood trick. Um, <laughs> disc sanders are great tools, uh, but they aren't always as precise as you'd like it to be. If you're making a frame and you're working on a miter cut, and sometimes it's not perfect when you go ahead and put your square in there and find out that you're a little bit of a degree out, you need to go over and you can use the disc sander to touch up that just to get it to fit perfectly. And by the way, yeah, this is toast. This needs to be replaced, but we're not gonna use it that critically in this situation. So do take the time, look at that, it's even not tight against it. So peel this guy off and put a new sanding disc on there. That one's way past retirement. So what you're using is your miter gauge, which once again, is not exactly perfect. Uh, you dial it in and eh, it's close to 45 and that sort of stuff. You get it as close as you can, but it's not always gonna get you right where you want. Even if you've got that dialed in at 45 degrees and it's perfect, and you slide this guy up there, Oh look, I'm out already by a chunk of it, okay? And by the way, generally you wanna sand on this side of the disc because the rotation is pushing down. So make all of your activity over here and you're working with gravity and the direction of the, the spin. If you're working up here, then it has a possibility of picking up your piece, so you want it to let it push down. So when you're testing your fit, work on this side of the disc. Now that's not perfect, all right? So we can adjust our miter fence, hopefully, to get us a little closer to dead on. That's all fine and good, but that's not necessarily gonna let us sneak up. If we find out we're, oh, a thousandths of an inch out, do you wanna try and adjust this guide to a thousandths of an inch? No, you don't. What can you do to tweak that up without having to shift this every time? Well, that's where the post-it note comes in. You got a pad of these guys. Somebody get a micron on this and find out what the thickness is. It's not a lot. So what you do is you stick that there, put that in place, and you'll find out that that will, as long as you're using your miter gauge correctly, tow in by pushing this out just a micron, whatever it is. You can add as many pieces as you want. And if you find out that your joint is tighter in the back, move your post-it note to the back. And again, sneak up on it. It only takes a touch, pull back, check your miter and see how it works. And again, let's say you need a few. There's a few pieces, put them on there. You're ready to go. And again, it's tricky in that you need to hold your pressure to keep it tight on the opposite side and let these post-it notes push out on this. So let's watch it work. Towing in at the back, it's exactly what I want. There you go. Post-it notes as your fine adjustment. <laughs>